What's up y'all, Jacob Owens here, and we're back for another video about like some filmmaking hacks, tricks, camera tricks, cinematography tricks, whatever you want to call it, but another trick in which you can use a fish tank to get a cool look, and today it's going to be a fake drowning scene. If you want to film a drowning scene in a cool way, utilizing a fish tank is another way that you can do that. So I'm going to show you guys how I did that recently on a... Uh, basically a, a project, I can't talk about what the project is, but a, a project where we needed to film a drowning scene and I had the idea to use a fish tank to achieve that. So getting into it here, you can see Tom uh, with the camera on a shooting vertically up through this platform we built on a apple box here, a green apple box, but this is a plexiglass platform that we had built for a previous uh, shoot or set. And so I had the idea to basically just take the fish tank, $30 fish tank from Petco, set it on top of the plexiglass platform, fill it with water, and shoot on a long lens directly through the glass uh, to me and my face in the water, like drowning. Super simple idea. Uh, if you don't have a built plexiglass platform, you could easily position a fish tank between two tables, two ladders, whatever it is that you can get it, uh, fish tank secure and then basically you just shoot straight up through the bottom of the fish tank on a long lens so that you don't see the edges of the fish tank or the glass or anything like that. Very, very simple. And to kind of take it a step further, <clears throat> here you can see me getting up on the step ladder. Um, off to the right side, that flashing light that we have is an airy sky panel set to lightning mode. I wanted it to be very dramatic where it went from basically like pitch black to like boom, lightning, you'd see my face and then it'd kind of fade away. And so that's what was happening here is we're basically like a nighttime drowning scene and a storm is happening, if you will. So just having that happen in the background is what's going on there. Here you can kind of see the side set up shooting vertically on the apple box straight through the glass, filled it with water, and I'm just in the uh, drowning in the fish tank, if you will, and uh, right here, airy sky panel set to lightning mode, and that's really it. Um, again, you could get the same look if you position the fish tank between two tables or just however you can secure it, but if you happen to have a plexiglass platform or if you want to build one, uh, that's another really easy way is just shooting through both pieces of glass. I made a video in the past about my fish tank camera hack that went very viral and uh, a lot of people started doing it. Basically an underwater camera rig, if you will, half under, half over, or even all the way kind of under using a fish tank and just putting your camera inside. And so here's another trick on how to use a fish tank to get a creative shot. And that's all it is. Like you can take any sort of objects around the house and turn them into creative shots. You just gotta get, you just gotta think creatively about it. Same fish tank that I've used in the past for all these other things. And it was just like, okay, need to see myself drowning. How would I do that? Well, I need to shoot through a piece of glass so that I can see it happening because I don't have an underwater rig for that to do in a lake and to fake it in an easy way. I need to shoot through the glass. Well, how can I shoot through the glass? Put it on another piece of glass, shoot through it. Very simple. Just got to think creatively. And there's tons of ways you can get creative shots like that. We also shot at a high frame rate so I could speed it up or slow it down. Using a higher shutter will make that scene feel a little more visceral and intense uh, if you use a higher shutter, so I would recommend doing that. Um, but that's really it. Just another way to use a fish tank, an everyday household object or something you could easily run out and get for cheap and turn it in to a high-end production level looking shot. All right, guys, that's it for today. Just wanted to show you guys this trick. Uh, make sure to check out more behind the scenes videos and informational tips and tricks on this YouTube channel. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed. If you have any questions about this trick or this setup or lighting, let me know in the comments below. Here to help you guys out. And without further ado, uh, Petco, PetSmart, I need a sponsorship. I need my very own fish tank brand, the Buff Nerd Fish Tank. I'm Jacob Owens for the Buff Nerds, and I'm out.